Hearts of Iron 4. The new Chef Simulator looks really good. Huh. Start with the bigger boys. It'll be more fun at the beginning. I feel that, like, the bigger boys seem um, overwhelming, though. We want 1936, right? We mean, like, these big boys at the top? Or do we want, like... I guess some of these, though, are, are kind of, like... They're probably more meant for when you have, like, a better handle of the game, right? Like, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. Because they're kind of... They're, 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 they're countries that don't aren't massively impactful, but you can make them massively impactful through being good at the game, right? Plays jersey? It's not even in there. Italy? I think, uh, like, I think uh, generally, I kind of uh, am. It's it's just when it comes to things like uh, division I templates this game and for stuff. I thirty plus hours and still suck. So ready to learn with this you. Thanks for playing on stream. Hey, quite long man. Thanks so much for the twenty. I appreciate it. Thanks. We'll learn together. France, Germany, and Russia will all be hard to manage. I feel like they would be. Yeah. There's so many aspects to the game too, right? Like there's, um, you like being able to design divisions, like uh, there, there's the air stuff, there's the Navy stuff. And then yeah, at the start you just kind of do nothing for five years while you ramp up ready for a, a big one, right? USA is easy for a start. I guess they're very passive at the start, right? You can pick us a pretty, a pretty inconsequential nation, but the problem is, is uh, I mean, I was playing as uh, Netherlands, which seemed kind of fun. They start off like uh, a bit handicapped because they got this thing, shell shocked spectator of the Great War. So recruitable population factor minus 50%, factory output is minus 25%, and dockyard output is minus 10%. But you can get you can slowly get rid of this through the the focus tree. But it, the 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 cool thing with all, like a lot of this stuff is that the trees make it so that you can they they they're very replayable, right? Like you could play Netherlands um to a point where you could you could uh, side with Germany and become part of the Axis, or you could build them up and 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 potentially defend against Germany invading you, and then fight back with the Allies and stuff. There's a there's a whole thing for the Netherlands uh, to uh, to to conquer Luxembourg and and Belgium, and form like its own you know bigger nation or whatever. There's like a Netherlands empire, yeah. But the the only problem with the with ne Netherlands, not not even specifically. There's a lot of nations in this game where I just cannot pronounce the names of any of their units or or anything. Like the Netherlands is one of those ones, specifically where it's like all oop de doop de doops, and and I I can't pronounce any of them. So there's that. Maybe we just play as Canada. Maybe we, we play a couple of games as Canada. Because, you know, we will be a little bit more familiar with them. And then just see what we can do, you know? Canada's part of England? Well, it's uh, it's the Dominion of Canada. But then there's there's stuff where you could, you could potentially break away as well, right? Sorry for invading UA. How's my Canadian history? Can I tell us about the War of 1812? The War of 1812 is an American thing. I don't think Canada had anything to do with the War of 1812. Wait, Canada was invaded by America at one point, right? I don't know if it was 1812 that it was.
Canada won the War of 1812? What year did Canada become independent? It was like, uh, I don't know. I think it was like 18, 18, 18, 1801, 1812. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Listen, I'm 42 years old. I, I, I took history when I was like 12. I don't fucking know. It was too cold, they turned back. I can't remember. I, man, I haven't even lived in Canada for like 20 years. 36 years ago, yeah. In 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 36 years time when you're not 12 years old anymore and and your uh your 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 beloved national history is still fresh in your mind, get back to me and let me know. See let, let, let's see how much is retained. Let me tell you something. I can still remember word for word the theme music to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I would have watched around the same time I learned about Canadian history. Guess which one? Uh, guess which one of, of the two uh, I still remember the most? I'll be dead by then, probably. Yeah. No, I don't listen to Avril Lavigne. Okay, I I can't. I cared about TMNT and not history. I care more about history now that I'm older. Like, if I went back and, and, and read about it, I'd be far more interested now than I was when I was a kid. Man, I, I remember taking history class, even in high school, and just thinking, this fucking sucks. I hate this. It's so boring. I actually felt like that pretty much about every goddamn subject in school. You just don't want to learn anything when you're a kid. Because you think you know everything already, right? You, you, when you're a kid, you're like, I'm ready. Fuck you. Stop telling me stuff. History is cool when it gets told in a video game, not reading them about a book in school. Ah, even now, I could read a book about history now that I'm older. I have much more appreciation for it, you know? Okay. Fine. Let's learn about uh, the Dominion of Canada through a video game, shall we? Mackenzie King. We're a democratic uh, regime. With an election in 1940. It's the Liberal Party. Sure. Uh, we're going to do Iron Man and historical AI focuses, I guess. Wait, what happens in, this, in the States? Nothing, right? At the start? They just, they just sl slow burn build up? What can we do as Canada, though? Like what what like I guess we kind of want to have some some focus uh, as to what we want to do, right? Like do we want to do we want to go to war with the USA? Do we want to team up with them? The US guarantees all of South America as well, right? So there's not really much we could do down there. Do we want to just build some forces and and ship them over to Europe? Is there like economic stuff that we could do as Canada? Canadian tree is NAF. Become fascist and invade the US and then conquer the whole world. The states don't guarantee South America until they get the Monroe Doctrine. Poland is a really good nation if you have the DLC. I think I've got most of the DLC. I'm probably missing a couple now, though. Japan? I can't. I can't play like big uh, countries that have like big navies or anything like that because I don't. I don't know how to do any of the navy stuff. I can just about form a front line and and put people on it. That's it. I don't know what else to do, right? I mean, I can start as Italy and go to... I think there's a thing in their tree to go to war against Yugoslavia, right? I could conquer it and Albania and then maybe Greece. Bulgaria and stuff. Switzerland. Do a historical Italy run. Do a heavy RP sesh as the Swedish chef. <laughs> start as Turkey, you could be a vampire. All right, fuck it. 
Well, uh, the, the only thing with Italy, though, is there's all this stuff in Africa that you got to do, too, right? You got you to gotta go to war with Ethiopia and everything. And then there's, like, all this stuff here, too. What do you do with all this shit? Peace Switzerland do absolutely nothing? Ethiopia is a pain in the ass. Play independent Ethiopia. Hang on a second. New game. Aus we can play Australia, New Zealand. These are all the ones that have focus trees, right? So they're probably the better ones to play. Oh, look. We can play as Prince Paul of Yugoslavia. We could play as George Tatarescu of Romania. Hey, look. We could play as Hungary. One half of the late Austro-Hungarian um Empire. Umpire? Hungary was treated as a defeated enemy by the victorious Entente after the Great War. The Treaty of Trianon, the country lost almost two-thirds of its territory. Millions of ethnic Hungarians found themselves living outside its borders. Its economy was left in ruins. Harsh restrictions on rearmament were supposed to ensure that Hungary could never again threaten the peace in Europe. With the political climate and... You want to try Hungary? Recruitable population is uh, minus 0.50%. Military factory construction speed is minus 50%. So we probably have to get rid of this Treaty of Trianon through the focus tree. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. Secret rearmament and renounce the Treaty of Trianon. So if, uh, if we're going to restore Austria-Hungary, then we have to somehow make it so that Germany don't annex Austria? Or do we take it back from Germany? Hungary should have a focus tree at least. Yeah, it does. I think. Or do you think it needs a DLC? I mean, it's in here, so it probably have the DLC for it, right? Okay, let's try Hungary then. Let's see what we can do. We'll probably just end up sitting around for a lot of the time, right? The Kingdom of Hungary. We have an authoritarian regime. Led by Miklos Horthy. A handsome, a handsome looking man. Maybe historically quite the monster though. Chat stressing you out already? What about this? Okay, let's just start. Uh, save and play. Iron Man Kingdom of Hungary 1. Okay, now we don't have to worry about a navy now, because look, we, there's no water touching us at all. We can get our air force going, though. Okay, I don't have enough resources for the stuff I want to build. What am I missing? Steel. Do I have any steel whatsoever? No. Aluminum? A little tiny bit of oil? Oh, I have five steel. It's not a, it's not a lot of steel. Though. It's maybe not enough steel. It's loud, isn't it? You think that that's too loud? Game options, audio, effect volume. It's probably better, right? Who needs boats anyway? Build only planes? All right. Um, let's just go through these one by one, right? So we miss, we, we lack some uh, iron. Who do we want to trade with? Who, who, is a, who is a safe bet to trade with? Historically, we will be, we, we will go, we will join the Axis, right? Establish the Air Force. Balance budget. Strengthen the monarchists. Economic intervention. Strengthen the fascists. Council of People's Commissars. So we could, we could become a uh, communist. Protect Czechoslovakia. Restore... Restoration of the Austria-Hungary Empire. Look, with the reunification of our two nations and a Habsburg on the throne, we can now solemnly proclaim the restoration of Austria-Hungary and see to retaking our rightful historical provinces. You want to try doing this? Take Austria by force or de demand a uh, referendum? Elect a fascist king? 
So once we've elected a fascist king, we can renounce the Treaty of Trianon. It doesn't look like there's any... Oh, we can elect a democratic king. Which would, uh, which would enable us to then join the Allies. And then uh, as soon as we've done that, we can um, establish a joint oil exploitation company. Reclaim the Empire. To finalize our de jure territorial demands, we must claim the various titles in Germany, Italy, and Palestine that our Habsburg monarch has to his name. Jordan, Palestine... Niederschlesen, Oberschlesen, Toscana, French Comte, Lombardia, Emilia Romagna, and Katowice. Kat 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 Is this even possible for me to do as somebody who's played a fair bit of this game but still sucks really bad at it? I guess it's a it's a goal, right? It's going to be hard. The Austria-Hungary path is hard. So what do you think we should do instead? Do you think we should just um, maybe go this way? Should we go down this way and do trade deals with Germany and just join, join Germany and, uh, and let them do all the hard work? Check out the Bled Agreement. Or join the common term? Gotta believe in the heart of the tech tree. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fuck it. Let's let's restore the empire, okay? Let's go balance budget so that we can go down this side and do all of this shit, right? Before we do that, though, we probably want to do industrial revitalization, right? Because this will give us uh, stuff. One times 100% research bonus for industry. This is going to give us a whole bunch of free infrastructure. This will give us civilian factories, another civilian factory, a research slot. We have to announce the Gior program for two times 100% research bonuses. And then we get more civilian factories. Or we could go for um, military factories instead. But then we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to go down this way, right? If we if we go this way, we're stuck going down this way. But we can get autarky and synthetic industry, boost Hungarian aviation industry. Okay, let's start with the uh, we got to start with the economy first, right? Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so economy, insufficient resources. What are we pr producing right now? Infantry equipment and support equipment. Okay. That's important stuff, right? That's all really good stuff. Okay, so we're going to start importing from Germany, I think. We lack 10. So we're going to send... Wait, how many factories do I have? I currently have five civilian factories. So we'll be using two for this. Or should we wait to get the resources in after. Low manpower, we got 52 troops, potentially. Decisions, reorganize the railway system and commandeer civilian trains. We don't really need to do any of that right now, right? We'll save up our political power. Uh, we got unassigned divisions. Yes. Yes. We want to, uh, we want to create a new army, right? And assign all these guys to it. And then we want a um, good attack and good defense. I guess this guy is the best for us. General Ivan Hindi. Okay, General Ivan Hindi. He's going to command our, our first army. Good job, Ivan Hindi. Yeah? If you want Austria-Hungary, you need to rush the Austria annex thing before Germany does. Apparently, do the Austria-Hungary, you need to rush it so Germany doesn't beat you to it. Will that just happen every time? Uh-oh. I might have screwed it up. 
I've already screwed it up. Sorry. We want uh, quicker research, right? And we want um, better production efficiency. Or do we want to get the construction speed? Construction. And production efficiency. We're going full economy. We got some free civilian factories because we haven't built anything yet. What do you want to build first? Civilian or military factories? Do you want to do you want to build uh, civilian factories up to a point? A few civilian factories? Like how many are we talking? Like all uh, all of the allocations? You want to have 15. Um, 15 for... Because 15 is the cap, right? For To have available for building stuff. And then anything after that you use for trade. Is that how it works? Oh, there's no cap. All right, okay. You generally do civ and mill half to half in inland states. But prioritize... Okay, so... So two of these and then two of these. Half and half. Decisions. Missing equipment production. What production... What What uh, is missing? Fighter, tactical, bomber, and close air support? So that's... So we have wings for all this. 72 out of 100 fighters, 12 out of 100 tactical bombers, and 12 out of 100 close air support. Okay, that's fine. And then we don't want to import this stuff just yet. And then put it on max speed. Oh, we want to train our, dude as, our dudes as well, right? So that they become... Uh, oh, they're regular already. All of these guys are regular. But do we still train them to get army experience? Just delete the wings. If I delete the wings, it'll free up some manpower, right? For now. Okay, let's get let's get rid of these guys and these guys. Okay, no problem. All right. This is Europe. What's wrong with these guys? Division belongs to an army, but has no orders assigned. Who are we going to uh, to fight against first? We don't know, right? So I think we just want to do, uh, like, um, area defense. That's fine, right? Okay, so we're building factories, and then I guess we want to start building uh, infrastructure and stuff too, right? Although we're probably pretty well supplied. We've got train tracks going all over the damn place here. Getting army advisors is way better for XP. I can still cancel the focus? Cancel. Balance budget. Okay, I've done it. All right. It's January 1936. What things can we look forward to happening? We can look forward to Italy and uh, Ethiopia um, happening, and then the Spanish Civil War will occur soon too as well, right? If Austria says no, you have to convince them by force? Oh. Do, do, do. Jurakozo. Supplies demanded by 2.61. So if I train uh, these guys right now, 
I'm getting 0 0.025 uh, experience daily. It's not a lot, eh? I guess the advisors is, is better. Because um, when you're training them, it uses up resources and stuff too, right? The Austria versus Hungary war is hard. Got to put the lads on the Austrian border. Oh, I guess uh, that makes sense. Right? That's what we're doing. We want to do a front line here. 16 divisions. Heading over to, to Austria. All right, so what else can I be doing to help me out here? It's a good thing to force Austria to join because you get army XP, which can be used to upgrade the army template and get military staff. Hungary needs to get rid of the Bled Agreement to be able to expand its army. The Bled Agreement? Okay, Italy is moving to annex the Sultanate of Aussa. How dreadful. Sultanate of Alsa submits to Italian demands. Okay. They've done it. They've only gone and done it. If I had DLCs, I could make a spy thing? Is it any good? What, uh... What DLC stuff am I missing? I, I thought I would just, like, uh, play what I have for now and then add DLC, like, later as I, you know. It's probably the best way to do it. Austria is just a bunch of dumb mountains. Do I really care? Yeah, but isn't, isn't, it, isn't it, like, the Sound of Music mountains? Hey, say do I, I want some of that action, yeah. Why DLC after? I'm sure I won't quit this in 20 minutes. Okay. Dude. I got some decisions I can take. Anti-fascist raids, anti-democratic raids. I don't really want any of this stuff just yet, right? I think I want to use my political power to hire uh, military advisors, right? That's going to be my, my biggest bang for buck earlier. This is a formal request to annex Scotland. All right. Can you do that? It's going to take till the 5th of December 1936 to complete um, these factories in Transdanubia. <laughs> Transdanubia. So yeah, it's a whole last year. You're right about this. We we lack so much uh, military equipment. Do you think that we should just get production going on these? Okay, the Rhineland has been remilitarized. Worrying, yes. Balance budget. Strengthen the monarchists. First step in returning Hungary to its previous prestige is to strengthen those parties that clamor for a return to a monarchy. Okay. We're doing it. We can modify our government now, too. Oh, shit. We're a disarmed nation? Jesus, hell. What are we going to do here? Political advisor? We want... Uh, who do we want? War industrialist? This seems pretty good, right? Military factory, fuel silo, and dockyard construction speed? Improve relations... Uh, communist support, fascist support. Captain of industry gives us infrastructure, civilian factory, railway, and refinery construction speed. Silent work. You want silent workhorse. Political power gain plus fifteen percent. Oh yeah, I guess that's a no-brainer, right? It just means that you can uh, you can do stuff quicker. Zoltan titties. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Zoltan. You really want to try this game? There's so many menus; it's very confusing. Okay, well, bear bear with. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Okay. 
We don't want uh, Officer Core right now, right? Armor Specialist? Oh, maybe we do, actually. We want... Uh, oh, no. We don't have the right guy for... Um, theorist? Land Doctrine Cost? Air Doctrine Cost? It, it would have been one of those guys, right? That help would help us gain more army experience? What People's Republic am I running? We're, we're trying to restore the Austria-Hungary Empire. Uh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. We should have an army guy? Okay, what army guy do we want, though? The air combat training or the armor specialist? Or armor regroup? We, we don't seem to have very good ones here. Ace generation chance? Armor division attack and armor division defense? This doesn't seem like good stuff to me. Chief of army? Oh, this is the guy we want. We want this guy. Ferenc Sombathalethi. This guy gives us uh, army experience gain plus 0 0.30 daily. And division defense 10%, right? Wait. Are we... We we want this guy, right? We want... We want offense. We're not... We're not defending, are we? Who... Who would we even be defending against? Nobody's gonna really... Do anything to us, right? It's... It's us who wants to take Austria back? Remember to stop training before you try to attack? Yeah, I don't even know if we necessarily need to train. These guys are all regular. So they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna go past regular, right? Or maybe they do? Can we train them up higher? Oh they can. Should annex the USA. Okay, well we're not we're not quite there yet. Let's just focus on doing one one thing first. Do we want to trade this stuff in? Because we have like a, a big deficit of um, infantry equipment, right? Okay, let's import it from uh, Germany. Okay. Okay, mechanical engineering is done. So we want mechanical computing as well, right? For faster research speed. Research speed is crucial at the start, right? It'll help us get ahead of the game, ready for when, uh, for when the, when the, when the, the big party starts. Oh, I'm wasting. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you're right as a bad trade right so from germany we just want this so we're just short one steel now invade the ussr no no we can't we can't invade the ussr what do you mean what uh what what party um do we want to keep for what we're trying to do? Or will it change over soon? Does not have the national spirit. Treaty of Trianon. So we have to get that too, right? If we want to unlock some manpower. We have we currently have zero. Can I sing the Beatles song about the USSR? SSR? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do sleep last night. Okay, Ethiopia has capitulated. Dreadful flight. I'm back in USSR. Can I sing Yellow Submarine next? Yeah, sure. 
In the town, na, 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 na. the second London London Naval Treaty has been signed. Okay, that's a that's a new message. I don't remember getting that one back uh, when I used to. Oh yeah, we want to go to Officer Corps, Army Command. Uh, we want to get Hugo Sonyi on the case, right? Boom. Okay, we're spending some political power to increase our daily game is it gain is 0 0.32 so we should be able to design our divisions i'm looking forward to getting into the division uh designer stuff because i think you guys could really help me with that don't forget the navy the, the, just fucking shut up about the fucking navy for one second okay you see any water around here what are we gonna just have the navy in this lake what lake is this don't forget about the banana division. <laughs> well, we're gonna have a river navy. We'll, get, we'll we'll send some some steam paddle boats up and down the river on patrol. Yeah, we got rivers. Look at this one here, the one in Trans Danubia. My leader's an admiral. All right. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but. Uh, I was going to say something about Admiral Akbar, but I can't be bothered. Strengthen the monarchists completes. Okay, good. Are we? Is it time to elect a king? Popular support for the nation to return to a monarchy government form is now sufficient that we can begin to think about initiating the process of electing a new king. We're doing it. Okay, basic machine tools is done. So we now would like to go and... Uh, okay, what do we want? Concentrated industry or dispersed industry? Okay, let's weigh this up. With concentrated industry, you can have a 20% increase in the maximum factories you can have in a state. And factory output and dockyard output are 15 and 10% respectively, right? Uh, dispersed industry gives you max factories in a state 20%. It's the same. Production efficiency retention is increased by 10%. Production efficiency base goes up by 5%. It's pretty nice. Factory output is 5% less. Dockyard output is the same. And factory bomb vulnerability is less. So if we were getting bombed, we could potentially uh, save ourselves, right? You think dispersed is better? It's Overall, it does seem to be a little bit better. You're right. Okay, let's go with this then. And then we'll have more space to build uh, factories when uh, these ones are done. Still a long time before they're done. If you plan to get bombed, dispersed is better. I'm not actually planning on getting bombed, but you never know, I suppose, right? My plan is to reform the, uh, my overall plan is to reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Whether we can do that, though, I have no idea. I mean, it could happen. We only need this right now, right? Do we want to do any of these? No. Anti-fascist or anti-democratic raids? We still don't really know who we're going to join yet, right? Maybe we don't have to join anyone. Just do our own thing. I can check what general I want for my army. What about Ivan Hindi? No good? Attack, defense, supply consumption. These, these the ones are noobs. Hindi is the best, right? What about Giza Lakatos? Look at his attack and his defense and his supply consumption, reconnaissance, planning speed, max plan. Oh, this guy is insane. He's so good. You want to promote him? We can promote him for 40 things, right? Are you sure you want to promote Ivan Hindi? After the promotion, Ivan Hindi will temporarily lose a skill level while adjusting to the responsibilities of the new rank. Well, how do you... Wh what is the... What is the upgrade from general, though? Make him the field marshal. Oh, promoting him will make him a field marshal. 
So should I promote uh, Ivan Hindi to a field marshal? There's no need. Oh, field marshals can command generals. I see. We already have a field marshal, but he's only a rank two one. He's only got two skills at be at being a field marshal. He will give his buffs to an entire group of generals under him. All right, so we want uh, Fe Fe Ferenc Fekit to Helmet. Fekit to Helmet. Fek it to hell, may. Say, 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 Sadner. Sadner. Fek it to hell, mate, Sadner. <laughs> Fek it to hell. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Alexander Fek it to hell, mate, is in, uh, in, is in charge now. Yeah, I, my last name is Hungarian, but... I mean, I don't know. I've never been to Hungary before. I've never, I've never, I, I don't even know if I could point it out on a map. I mean, I can now that I'm looking at the map, but. The UI is letting you down here. Select the army you want to assign a general. Wait, select the army you want to assign a general. Then click on the plus icon in the empty portrait next to him. What, this one here? Select armies before creating an army group? Oh, whoops. What happened? It just made army two. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is where we put the field marshal. And then we... And then we assign... Um, Ivan Hindi here under him, right? Is that the one? But now it's Army 2? Army 1. Okay, nice. What's it what what's wrong with him? He's got a clock his his portrait's gone black and white, he's got a clock above him, is he about to die? It's the game is telling me he doesn't have long left to live, he's old. Oh he's on route. Why, where the fuck is he? Just in Budapest? Chillin'? <laughs> he's about he's about to pop his little clogs out there on the battlefield. Uh wait, army What the heck is is going on up here now? Construction's done? Do we wanna do excavation to get resource gain efficiency? We'll be we'll, we might be able to get that last bit of steel from this, right? Yeah? Alright. Division belongs to an army but has no orders assigned. Okay, so we have to give this guy the front line orders again, right? Okay. Good job, Ivan Hindi. We have a couple of resources. Yeah, make an attack line as well. Do we want we want them to train again? Oh yeah, I suppose we do, right? Let's get these guys training again. Um we don't need an attack line just yet though, right? Or do we? We almost have enough uh, political power to hire another um political advisor. You can shift click the training if you want them to just train up to the max possible. Though they lose training. It, when they're not training, sometimes they downgrade to like from regular to, to is that just because people are there's new people joining the 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 divisions? It just degrades naturally. <laughs> the music in this game is so good, isn't it? Okay, we've elected a king. Completed. Nice. 
All right, so now we want to invite the Habsburg Prince, right? And then we want to demand a referendum. Long have the Habsburgs ruled Hungary, and under their rule, the country was part of one of Europe's greatest empires. Returning a Habsburg to the helm will surely lead Hungary to greatness once more. Okay, Miklos Horthy will become a naval commander. Otto von Habsburg will become the leader for the non-aligned party and replace the Hungarian monarchy with the Habsburg restored. Okay, sure. We're well on our way now, chaps. We are landlocked, yeah. We ha we seem to have many admirals and we're landlocked. I, I don't get it. Otto tried so many times and now he's finally done it. Okay, now that we got the silent workhorse in, who do we want? Captain of Industry? Lajos Remenyi Schneller? Admirals of the Rivers. The Navy will be important when we annex Italy. Yeah, the Paradox music's phenomenal. It really is good, right? What about a, a war industrialist? I, th I feel like we'll go Captain of Industry and War Industrialist, right? If you plan your attack orders early, like now, you will get a bonus when the time actually comes? All right. So we should do that? Okay, let's... We'll, we're going to recruit Lajos Remenyi Schne, Schneller. Okay, so this stuff should build a little quicker now. The 28th of December, 1936. We're in August right now. He has a great shench of sh schmel. <laughs> shench of schmel. Shench of schmel. Oh, look, we got 33, arm 33 army experience already. Holy crap. Okay, so we want to go into our... Uh, see what I mean? Like, uh, how, do I, how do I pronounce this word? What, is, what does this even mean? Can we just call it infantry? Oh boy, here we go. Infantries. Okay. Infantry brigades. All right. First thing we want... Okay. For artillery? How does this... Okay, how does this work then? So you've got... Each one of these columns is a company, right? And these support elements support each company, but then you sometimes you want a company to have their own support elements baked in. You need 20 width? Where's the width? Combat width, 12. Combat width tells you how much room this division will take up in combat. For example, if a combat has a total width of 80, you can fit four divisions with a width of 20. Okay. Um, isn't it better to... Okay, I read somewhere or heard somewhere that combat width for... Um, a combat width of 20 is good for defense, but then a combat width of 40 is good for offense. 20 width with support artillery comp is a good choice. 20 width is old advice. They changed that 20 width thingy in one of the last patches. Right. 40 is attack and 20 is defense. And getting mountain division for invading Austria would be good as well, right? Basically, the organization is the HP of the unit. Soft attack is for none. Armor attack, hard is for armory. <sighs> okay, so... We're not we're not making any artillery right now, but do we, we want support artillery, right? If we add support artillery, our soft attack 
and heart attack goes up? Quite a bit, actually. From 36 to 51 soft attack, and from 6 to 7.2 heart attack. Yeah? Artillery is vital. Also, keep small divisions, not large ones, as you'll just waste manpower and experience. If you stop, you should try getting hard. I know I should, yeah. We need to be able to produce the artillery, right? Okay, and but for these, you add them, you add artillery and support. Like, I wouldn't add artillery here, right? Sorry, I keep closing that by accident. You, you don't add artillery directly to the company? You could. Only after you have a surplus. Oh, you can do both. So line artillery is 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 great as well as support, but what else could you add here? Just more infantry? And then when we research other things like uh, field hospitals and shit like that, um, when we research uh, like mountain divisions, they're their own divisions with their own companies, right? Uh, of just infantry with their own support elements. Recon, medic, motorized. Organization should be less than 50 for infantry divisions. What does that mean? Um, do we want um, cavalry recon detachment for this as well? This gives us... Um, some extra stuff. It makes us uh, move faster in... Uh, most terrains, right? No. Recon is basically useless right now? Okay. But, but we want support artillery, right? For our divisions to start with, and we need to start producing artillery as well. not worth a factory for the recon or just add more infantry we don't have the manpower to fill these uh, divisions up though right until we uh, get further along okay so we want to start making towed artillery Like that. Or something. Try using a fruit tart on Hitler. <laughs> oh. Basic division is 9 infantry plus line artillery for 21 width. You can just leave the support empty for now. Oh, right. Okay. So I wanted line artillery there instead. Okay, the Olympic Games have concluded. Best, best chat advice so far is wing it. Right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So we just have to wait now for stuff to, to build, right? For stuff to build and for focuses to uh, to come online as well. Show my division templates? Okay, I only have two. I've only got this one here. My combat width is 12 at the moment. 14, 16, 18, 20. So I just go do it like this? Or do I, uh, or would I, add, do I add them like here instead? Design some super heavy tanks. All right. One, two, 
one less infantry. So we have combat t with 21. You just want it like this? Nine infantry and one artillery. My adjusters for forest is minus 2%. Um, I'm, I'm, I seem to be having penalties in some places. Hills and mountains, not so much, though. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just... Um, I'm not going to commit to it. I'm just, just trying to get an idea of what we're after. Do we want any of these specialists? I don't have any air right now. And we don't have any armor either, right? Do we want this a theorist? Land doctrine cost minus 10%. Is that good? Well, we will need a navy eventually, yes. But I feel like once the war starts, it's harder to to build stuff, right? Because all of our resources are going to be going into um, fighting. Do I have any ancestors fighting in the war? Um, I think so. I'm not sure. The best army is a 1k stack of close air support. What does this mean? Click to assign a new trait to this unit leader? Offensive doctrine? Organization first? Charismatic. Division recovery rate. Do I want any of this stuff on my field marshal? This will trickle down to the generals, right? Anything that I give this guy? You only get a limited amount of traits. Right. So it's best to just hang on to them? I think we're... Wait, I think we're going to be offensive uh, against Austria, yeah. That's how it's shaping up anyway. We have to take them before Germany do. But then Germany might get really angry and try to take them back. Take exploration ideas. Okay, we've caught up with, uh, we're stockpiling infantry equipment and support equipment now. So we can, uh, we can drop this back a little and just go all out on the artillery pieces. Because look, our production efficiency is, is capped right now too. 130 spare guns, I know. Okay, we've invited the Habsburg Prince. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. In search of a suitable king, the Kingdom of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Habsburg to return to the lands that were until recently ru ruled by his family. Otto, who has lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and the dissolution of his father's empire, chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was crowned King of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the Royal Palace in Budapest. Nice. During his coronation speech, King Otto thanked the Hungarian people for their loyalty and devotion and vowed to see the Habsburg lands reunited once more, promising that this time Hungary would be the dominant constituent part, no longer a kingdom in name only. All right. So the dissolution of Austria-Hungary was a mistake. Austria and Hungary are stronger together, and a combination of both is required for either to achieve greatness. The Austrians must be made to hold a referendum on a proposal for the peaceful joining of our two nations. Or we can just take Austria by force. 
The first step in returning glory to Hungary is to reintegrate the Austrian lands. We cannot risk a failure in achieving this diplomatically, so we must do so through force. You want to just try to do it diplomatically first and see what happens? You do referendum and then take them by force if they say no? Alright. Referendum it is then. We're demanding a referendum. Uh, also, we want to be ready for this, right? So, hang on a second. So Vienna is worth 30 war score. Graz is worth 5. Linz... We want to we want to grab Vienna first, right? Salzburg is worth ten, and then we have Innsbruck, which is worth five. So we want to we want to march on Vienna immediately, right? We can improve relations with Austria to give a higher chance of acceptance. Okay. Improve relations. All right, I'm doing it. And then we want to draw a, a battle line, an offensive line. To draw an offensive line, lines can be painted only on territory you've assigned a front line or naval invasion to. Wait. Offensive line. I mean, is that okay? Or I, I, I hate this tool. Actually, it's it doesn't work very well, right? What was I don't know. What do we want to do? I want to just I just want to waltz right into Vienna like this. Oh, there we go. That's better, right? Just do this. Go all the way to Paris. No, no, we want to go to Vienna first. Yeah? Wait for the rest of random. Uh, no, no, I'm not committing. I'm not committing. I'm just getting the boys ready. We'll get some organization and stuff. We got our... Imagine the war room with these two guys in it. This one screaming at this one because he's in charge of him. Saying, get your plans ready. Get your ass... Get your ass out of that hole! Move! Get your ass off of this beach! Stop training? Okay. So now they're preparing. The estimated plan value is going up. Okay, we're ready to go. What equipment am I lacking? Um, I'm currently lacking a bit of artillery. And uh, I have uh, not a lot of manpower either. So if we're, if, we're, if we're losing boys out there, left, right, and center, we have no, we have no reserves. Where's the Austrian army? They just don't know. They just don't know what the heck is going on. We got to recruit some more boys. We need to, um, we need to stop being a disarmed nation, but we have some, uh, there's some focus tree elements in our way. Once we go to war, Hungary loses their army restrictions and we can get some more boys in the field? Oh, that's good. You want to see the Austrian unit count? 5 to 15. Based on current intelligence. Looks like they got Odilo Glob Globinik and uh, Alexander Lohr running things for them over there. We 
gonna get pounded hard? Come on. Come on, don't be like that. It's us who's gonna deliver the pounding here. We're gonna restore the Empire. The Spanish Spanish Civil War has begun. We don't have... Okay, the spearheading to Vienna with the cavalry is, uh, seems like a good idea, actually. Okay, another political advisor? Who do we want? A compassionate gentleman? The war industrialist? What about a smooth-talking charmer? The war industrialist is the, is the one. Vilmos Roder? Do we have any hard case badasses? A staunch monarchist. Gustav Grants. Daily support for unaligned. Unaligned for us is the legitimists. Get an industrial thing in the second row? A theorist? No. You want an industrial concern? Industrial research speed? Industrial research speed could be kind of good, right? No? Save the PB for soldiers and consumer goods. Export focus, free trade. Civilian, I can't do any of this. Oh, you want to save it for when the time comes, you mean? The referendum, we'll, we'll find out pretty soon, I think. Industrial concern is good early game. I know I can get rid of the Treaty of Tyrannon through the focuses, but it's not in the tree that we're currently going down, right? To try to reform, reform the Empire. Oh, this first industry is done. Um, and the computing thing is done as well. Do we want coordination and reinforce rate or not? Nah? I guess we want to just get more, um... Wait, what do we want to get next? We want to improve our, t our artillery, probably? The interwar artillery? We need to get rid of a civ civilian economy ASAP because it sucks ass. We haven't researched any gun stuff, no. What do you want to get? Support weapons? Support weapons is probably pretty good, right? Yeah? Alright. And, uh, and the other gun stuff as well? Improved infantry equipment? It'll be ahead of time. I guess we kind of want to get... Uh, we want to start uh, researching trucks as well, right? Or stick to industry. God, that's a crunchy sound effect, isn't it? That's how Mega Man's uh, arm uh, should sound when he's, like, arming a shot, you know? Industry heavy early game. It's very crunchy. Trucks are super important for supply. I know this. Production efficiency ahead of time? Well, this is only 0 0.10 years ahead of time, so it's probably fine to go for the efficiency cap plus 10%, right? Improved machine tools? 1937. Okay. Okay, I've done it. Build civilian factories till late 1937 and then military factories. Oh, okay. Sure, I can do that. I'm a bit nervous about this, actually. This could be this could be quite quite the play. 
This could be an interesting war if we manage to pull this off, right? No, I can't construct Game Boys, no. Please, Austria, just surrender. If they know what's good for them, we got a we got a well-trained force of boys on the on the border here. They're ready to go in. They're ready to pound some ass as well. Austria should recognize this if they have any sense. You might want to take Graz as well. Oh, we can do this. We can do another offensive line. Uh, wrong, wrong defensive, li wrong line. There's no divisions assigned to this one, though. How do I now assign uh, divisions? How do I do like a half and half? Yes. You can't do it. Control click. Oh. Like this, yeah? That is a battle plan that I think everybody can get behind, right? It's a really good one. Unit unable to move to a province along its path. Just make one big joined up. Okay, we've demanded the referendum. Referendum defeated. Despite our best efforts, the people of Austria have decided to keep the status quo. Alright, we must... Okay, we can gain an annex war goal against Austria now, right? And that's what we should go for? It's wartime? Okay. And then uh, next up for us is going to be restoration of Austria-Hungary, but we need to control Upper Austria, Tyrol... Vor Vorarlberg and Lower Austria. So in the meantime, should we get, uh, should we start working on uh, industrial revitalization? All right. Okay, we're gonna declare war on these guys and go for it, right? Look at this pencil neck here. Kurt Schuschnig, Sh the leader of Austria. All right, it's time for us to, to annex your ass. We don't have any allies or anything. Okay, click to activate the execution of the entire plan. We're sending in the boys. And now they're at war. Oh, wait, we can't do it. The Treaty of, of Trianon is still in place. We can't do any of this stuff. We could go free trade, though. Let the time pass. Oh, national focus bypass secret rearmament. The restrictions imposed on us by the Treaty of Trianon prohibit us from increasing the size of our army. Even so, the world's political climate is becoming even more turbulent, and conflict looms over the horizon. We cannot remain defenseless, and we must begin to rearm, even if it means secretly breaking the stipulations of the peace treaty imposed on us after the Great War. All right, sure. So that's done. So that means now that um, the effects of that are... that we can get partial mobilization, right? Which is what we want. We want we want to get partial mobilization, right? Use PP points now to increase the recruitment war power. Oh, volunteer only, of course, yeah. We'll get plus 1.5%. 
Austria votes against reunification. At the insistence of the Hungarians, Austria has carried out a referendum on the possible reunification of the two nations under the Habsburg crown. The final count has almost been completed, but a victory for the Euro reunification camp is already out of reach. The Austrian government has therefore decided against joining an Austria-Hungary union. What are a few deaths for an empire? Exactly. Uh oh, they're defending. We're about to take Graz, though. We're winning decisively against their mountain men. Oh, it looks like we might take Vienna as well, actually. It's looking promising here. Pew, 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 pew! Okay. Graz has been taken. We are at war. Um, fielded manpower? We've lost uh, 184 men. They've lost 151. They're losing the war though. Kind of. We have low supplies going into here as well, right? Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Do we have to just like establish a front here and get supplies over here or what? What's the deal? We need more supply trains. Okay. So we want to reorganize the rail. We want to commandeer civilian trains for this, right? Move into the other sectors and cut off the army so that they can't reband. Please move units manually to surround enemies. You can do that. Yes. They're regrouping. Uh oh. They're defending here after my big manual. Move. Excavations done. Uh, what do we want next? Construction too? We want to build stuff faster, right? The war's not looking too good here, guys. Austria mobilized, and you know what? They're not fucking around. Join Germany. I thought I could do this on my own, but I don't think I'm prepared. I think it's the supply issues that are letting me down big time, right? Take the spot to the right of Vienna with two guys. Oh, you mean this spot here. Okay, which, which guys can I use to take this spot? Please. these guys that, that aren't actually doing anything right now. Why does they why is why do they keep moving a guy back here? Oh, it's or unit organization is too low. Supply lack of equipment and attacking into mountains into the win in the winter. this guy up here and start taking away some of their supplies. Which is the one that's just standing here? This guy's doing good a good job here. He was kind of winning for a second. 
Uh oh. We've had we've had some casualties big time. So you think we have not enough equipment? Oh yeah, holy shit. We're really low on equipment. We need to pump it up big time, right? And we're really low on, very low on supplies as well. Do do do, do 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 do. Army regrouping? Do we want a division recovery rate? To activate your navy. Seymour 47, I know. I, I changed supply to trucks. I don't have any trucks. We didn't even research them. Move all but one factory from artillery to infantry. Okay. Stop the general from attacking? Oh, we just want to defend now? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we don't want to uh, attack anymore, right? We want to we wanna re-up a little. All that attack is my only, it is my only option. Okay, so we want to get trucks. We want to get some trucks online? Uh-oh. Reinforce, you fools. Get in there. Never move a factory away from guns ever again. I didn't I didn't realize, sorry. Okay. Our industry is is gonna slowly come online here now though, right? This might help us just in time. Pew, pew oh they took grass back. Shit. I think we're gonna lose here. I shouldn't have attacked for so long, right? I think I I think I drove myself into a ditch from all that attacking. We could not take Vienna. They defended it so hard. We need more men. We just don't have the men. We're getting all the young boys in to help. We're tooling them up. They're pushing us back. Damn. Damn, they're really pushing us back. Look. What can we even do here? How do we get... Uh, how Let's get some industrial concern in. Take them to the river and hold? We're holding now. They're trying to attack us on a river here, which should be helping us, right? It's a pretty even fight, actually. Okay, we've lost a lot more than they have. I think we can regroup a little bit though and maybe and maybe go on another push. We got a doctrine available. What do we want? Superior firepower? Is superior firepower the best one for us? Grand battle plan. Firepower is good. Entrenchment speed and max entrenchment? Trench warfare? Let's go pep firepower, right? Holy crap. 
crap. It's nice to see some action so quickly in this game, though, right? It's not bad. Just try to whittle them down. I have support artillery, I think, yeah. Should be helping. We have a uh, we have a fair bit of uh Okay, their losses are ramping up now. This is good for us, right? You got to shell the shit out of them. I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to reinforce the the boys on the line here. Trying to get these guys into the meat grinder. Okay. Support weapons one is done as well. That's pretty nice. We can do this. Do we want to start working on support weapons two? Oh no, we want trucks now, right? We want to get trucks so that we can supply. We do have some planes, yeah. I think we have a, a, a little bit of close air support. Should we get those guys online? We've got the manpower for them. Um, air? Over land and sea and air! Oh, where are my planes? Here. So we want uh, interwar fighter or bombers? Close air support? And fighters? And bombers? Just get them all get them all in here. Okay, the planes are coming in to help, I think. Nope. They're not assigned to a region. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, our planes are are in the in the sky. Pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Not that region? Oh, is it the wrong region? Whoops. We want this region, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Pew, 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 pew! Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. We're turning the tides here. We're missing some equipment production. And this is because uh, we need to uh, reinforce our planes, right? Our close air support. We need some military factories. It's looking, it's looking a little bit better for us now, isn't it? Oh, I love the sound effects. They're so cool. I feel like a real dad right now. Can you hear that machine gun fire, son? It sends a shiver down my spine. Okay, look, the supplies are coming in now as well. We've reintegrated the railroads. This is good. We've 
had a Hindenburg disaster? Yes. Where do we want these divisions to go? Do we want to attack them while they're uh, while they're not doing too hot up here? Heck yeah, we do. Yeah, we're gonna bum rush for uh, Vienna. That's so loud, eh? Okay, so a little bit of attrition here. Until we get the uh, until we get the uh, the trucks online, right? Modify our government? Um, aircraft designer? Do we want any of this stuff? Oh, we want partial mobilization, right? As well? Or do we want to go up again to limited conscription? Partial mob mobilization? They're attacking again. No chance, mates. Okay, they have lost 34.45k. Their manpower. They're just, they're losing tons of men now, right? Push with all my troops. You think they're ready to to go now? Oh, they're doing another push. We're just getting supplied on the line here. green thing on the general says yes. Oh look, they're still they're still pushing into us though. Okay, I'm going. You ready? <laughs> Modify the officer corps. Armor specialist? Military theorist? Do we want an Air Force command? Oh, I don't have the political uh, power for it, right? Oh, but I do have this. Ace generation chance? Is that good? Air combat training. No war, no war. Okay, look at Let me change this around a little bit. Okay, so our offensive line. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That works. Yeah, yeah. We're still waiting for those trucks to come online, right? Would be good. Okay, let's counter push. Let's go, boys. We're hitting them hard in the south. Oh shit, yeah, look at this. We're breaking through. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this southern flank. Right into Graz, no problem, we got this. They're running away, boys. Push. 
They're defending a lot again, actually. A lot of defense is happening. We gotta get the supplies into these boys real quick. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, construction two is done. Okay, let's get this going as well. God, this is a tough nut to crack, huh? Put them on aggressive. How do I do this? Force attack? Last stand? Staff office plan? Spearhead? Offensive line? It is a loud voice. And I don't know why these uh, sound effects are so damn loud. It's crazy. I, I, I like them, but it is loud. Still really loud. Okay, look, I think we're going to push through here in a second. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. That's the stuff right there. I think we might get Graz here as well. We don't want to push too far in, though. We want to be able to supply the guys, right? We need to get our supply lines moved up. We need our trucks for this. Okay. We need some military factories as well, right? Okay. All right, how's the war looking now? 33k to their 55k losses. We got more dispersed industry. What else do we want to get now in here? This is too head too far ahead, right? We can't really do that. The cities are little supply points as well. All right. Always back up inventory, they take the lines. Yes. We got close air support and fighters. Artillery? Let's upgrade our artillery. That would be helpful, right? Holy shit, we might actually push into Vienna soon. Look at this. That's going so well up there. They're running out of they're running out of steam. We got them on their asses here now. Holy shit. Okay, let's push into grass. Japan declared war on China. Support for domestic industry is done. Excellent. Support urban is urbanization for another civilian factory and then institute for industrial techniques, which will give us another research slot. Actually, we want that straight away, right? We need this first, though. Holy shit. We've taken grass. We've taken it once again. How do I, uh, like, click some of these, but not all of them? I want to get this guy down here. Shit, man. 
Támadjatok tovább! Visszakozz! We want to take this guy out, right? Because he's got a flank on us. March these guys in here. March these guys in here too. Flank them. Oh, look at this. We've encircled them. Oh, that's good, right? When you get them in a pocket like that, they can't break out and it just destroys the division. We've done it. We've done it. We've taken Graz. It's time to march into Vienna. Come on, boys. We'll be home by Christmas. We've done it. Not enough manpower or equipment to fill to to fulfill our garrisons. No problem. Okay. We want to modify this so that we can have a air force command ground support. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is going to be really good. Pew 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 pew. Now we're holding Vienna. Heck yeah, we're holding Vienna. Look at our boys are, are really well supplied now, too. We've got the... We got, we, we've got our garrison set up in Vienna and Graz with the rail links. No problem. Shit, yeah, look at this. We are taking... We are taking territory big time. do 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 they moved their capital to Salzburg it looks like I don't think these guys stand a chance you think it's time to take the boys to Barlad after this I think that I think that they can have uh, some R and R in Barlad after this. They've done such a good job. At one point, it looked like we were dead, but it's looking pretty pretty nice now. Okay, let's walk into here and here nice just defend on this river we're hitting them from every angle now guys 91k losses. Insane. What a war. A war to remember. Okay, Republican Spain was annexed. So the fascists won. God, it's a quick uh, Spanish Civil War. It didn't last very long at all. More ground crews. Air superiority. Mission efficiency is 29%. Close air support. Do We, we want uh, air superiority, right? In the Alpine region, if we can. 
The north is literally open. March through. Okay, I'm going. We're going to take Linz. We're going to take Wells. Let's just go to Salzburg, right? While these guys are all on the line, I'll just bypass them. Done it. Austria, Austria has capitulated, giving us access to 50% of their stockpiled equipment. Okay, they didn't have an awful lot, it turns out. Great news. Okay. Um, Kingdom of uh, Hungary. Select all. Submit demands. General Sips, sir. Make them a Do you have state. any plans to finally take Azerbaijan, like you tired to all those years ago with Flax and Lewis? Maybe. Um, uh, take state. Lower. Uh, wait. What do I have to do now? Pass. What a moment. Confirm and exit. Nice. Holy shit, we did it. We took Austria. Insane. Okay, what's next? We can modify our government slightly? To limited conscription? We need some more men. We have no men. Our army is 82.61k. Okay, where's uh, what's next now for us? Because uh, we can uh, cancel this and do this, uh, the restoration of Austria-Hungary. With the reunification of our two nations and a Habsburg on the throne, we can now solemnly proclaim the restoration of Austria-Hungary and see to retaking our rightful historical provinces. Nice. Look at all these trains and stuff moving around in our brand new big country. The Kingdom of Hungary. Okay, after that, we want to protect Czechoslovakia, apparently. The Kingdom of Hungary is fully independent. Czechoslovakia exists. Okay, hang on a second. So what's this? Czechoslovakia has, since its independence, grown powerful and industrious. But their lands are eyed greedily by their neighbors. We will offer them our protection against these threats, either by welcoming them once again as an integral part of our empire, or by granting them association status. Okay, so we're going to guarantee Czechoslovakia in uh, an attempt to take it ourselves, right? And then we can claim Transylvania. The area of Siebenberg, Bergen, Siebenbergen was unfairly taken from us after the last war. It is time to reclaim it. Okay, so we'll get, we'll get claims on North Transylvania, Krisana, Transylvania, and Banat. March to the shore. A true great power requires access to the seas. The coast of the Adriatic is our birthright. North Slovenia. Ljubljana. Dalmatia. Croatia. Bosnia. Zara. Herzegovina. West Banat. And Vojvodina. Which is all like... Uh, it's like It's like these places here, right? 
Zara and stuff. So we so we're potentially going to war against Germany and Italy doing all this stuff, right? They're gonna hate us. Um, and then we can reclaim Venetia. Claim Galicia, claim the Bukovina, and reclaim the Empire. Holy shit. That's fucking wild, chat. I love that. I really love that. What a tree. That's so interesting, isn't it? It's gonna it's gonna fuck over Germany and uh Italy big time as well, right? Gotta improve relations with the Czech. Oh yeah, good idea. Let's do that. We can't. I don't have uh, the uh, political power to do it. What? Uh, I guess my army. We wanna. We wanna assemble along the border. Kiss. The Czech border for now, right? In case we have to go in and uh, and get them. It's quite a large border, isn't it? Check it out. How are you liking the supply system? Took me a while to get used to it. I don't know if I really understand it much yet, but I'm getting there. We just want to take Prague and anything else that's in the way. All right, let's start moving our men onto the border so that we can get ready to do something in uh, Czechoslovakia if we have to. I don't know when I'll get some more manpower back. It seems to just get uh, taken like immediately once I get it. Okay, we got the 38M Batond. Which means now we can get some uh, some more support stuff, right? Like field hospitals, but also probably logistics company is good, right? Do we want to get logistics company? It's refilling all of my divisions. You think logistics company is vital now? Engineers? Oh, engineers are really good too, right? Entrenchment and stuff. Field hospital as well. Okay. We'll get all that. We'll get that other research slot soon. Um, what are our, um, our planes doing now? We don't need them deployed here, right? Do we want to just do pilot exercises? Actually, let's disband all these air wings for now. So that we can refill our divisions faster. You can assign your planes to your generals? Oh. <laughs> Click to select air wings attached to the army. We got none. So I'd need to reform those air wings. Germany has a couple of men looking at my new Austrian lands. You're right. Do we need to worry? We need equipment. Lots of equipment. Okay, we're building military factories now. Do, do, do. Okay, nice. I'm building so many military factories. We need them all though, right? Okay, we got another decision. Oh no, 
commandeer civilian trains, reorganize the railway system. Okay, what does our supply map look like now? It's not bad. There's a couple of uh, train tracks that need to be repaired, I think. But we're looking fairly supplied here, right? It's not bad. It's blue. From us uh, invading Austria, world tension has gone up to 19%. I think we were a big uh, contributor to that, right? Early on. No, we weren't. Kingdom of Hungary declared war on Austria, 0.3%. Just nobody cares about that at all. Japan declaring war on China was a big one. And then Japan declaring war on Shanxi was a big one too. Uh, it was actually more tension when Austria capitulated and we and we did the uh, peace treaty of Innsbruck. Focus now on Romania. No, no, we're go we're going down this tree, right? We want to try to oh we can get um, delay. Doctrine cost due to base cost leg infantry organization plus 10. That's pretty good, right? Sure. <laughs> delay this. The world doesn't want me to be a strong monarchy? Well, the world's about to find out. The, the world's about to feel the, the power and the, uh, the explosive juice behind a powerful monarchy. Now's the time. Yeah. They're about to find out why you don't fuck with auto. Okay, new artillery. Very nice. We can start uh, researching the 15 centimeter 35M. I don't know if that's good. If, uh, if we are going to fight against Germany at some point, which we might, I feel like anti-tank is important, right? They have a lot of tanks. The Czechs have a real army. The industrial techs. Yeah, I think we've done most of them now. Or we're, we're at least up to date with them. Except for Excavation 2. Do we want Excavation 2? If you can make enough of them. Do some more support companies. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. We're going to get engineers. Logistics. We want field hospital as well, I think. We can get a, a signal company. Field hospital is going to be big, right? If we if we actually have to fight against um, the Czechs. Field hospital is useless. Oh. If we, if we research excavation too, we can develop transdanubia bauxite deposits, which might be good, right? It'll give us 24 more aluminum in transdanubia, which is nice. Oh, look at all the manpower we got now. 25k, that's good. Okay, radio is done. Oh, we want radio. We want radar stations as well, right? Pretty good. Yep, 
Yeah, I know. I gotta modify my division to add the. Why is our army experience so low? I thought we would have had uh, more by now, right? <laughs> okay, good. National focus completed. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. With the reunification of Austria-Hungary completed, the Hungarian government has gathered international press in Budapest and announced the restoration of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. King Otto has assumed his rightful title as Emperor of Austria and has reiterated his vow that, though the empire is yet but a shadow of its former self, he shall not rest until all Habsburg lands have been reunited. Their neighbors undoubtedly eye the proceedings in Budapest suspiciously. Like a phoenix from the ashes. Nice. Okay. So this is, um, this is us doing uh, Czechoslovakia stuff. And we also want to boost uh, our relations with them as well, right? Okay, we have no divisions in basic training. We should probably train some, right? You want to train some motorized divisions? Motorized infantry? What needs to go with motorized infantry? We love trains. Do it, Otto. That's our motto. Oh, I got the Doctrine, right, that's right. They're just fast in infantry? We want to get tanks instead? Do you think regular infantry is better? Do you think having infantry with uh, with uh, motorized divisions in the line is better? Or do you think just having uh, motorized divisions is good? Regular infantry is just better? Where do we want to deploy um, our men to? Does it matter? Transdanubia? Budapest? Just put them here. Okay, well, we can train up a division, right? Infantry with anti-air and artillery. Do, 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 do. You want me to train another one? Two divisions? It's a lot of ma manpower though, right? And then we can go into our division designer and get... Uh, so do we want uh, anti-air support? Oh, I can't do it, actually. Yet. I gotta, I gotta research it. I haven't researched it yet. Wait, we're training divisions, but we're also going to extend these lines a little? Yeah? AA support is pretty OP because it adds piercing. Alright. Okay, let's just do all this for now. Whoops. Modify my government. Okay, what do I want to modify next in my government? Limited conscription. Partial mobilization. Do we need another political advisor? Do we want uh, the war industrialist, right? Yes. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta build up, right? Choo choo! I see a train. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Austria Hungary. Look at that. That's so cool. We done it. We formed an empire. We went from being one small little country to now being a big empire. We're going to get even bigger. I think we probably do have new equipment deficits. No, we're still stockpiling, actually. Support equipment and infantry equipment, we got quite a bit of. And also, look, it looks like our military uh, factories are coming online real fast here, which is good. So we start... Uh, we can start getting some um, close air support and uh, towed artillery made. And then we're going to have to start making some anti-air guns as well, right? Somebody blew the Yellow River. Some planes and trains and automobiles? Mm. The first offensive line should be to take Brno. <laughs> Don't worry. Look at on the way to Prague we'll be taking Brno no problem. Brno problem. What's the red line in the west? This one here? I think it's an it's impassable mountain terrain. Low manpower. Modify officer core. We don't need to do that just yet. <laughs> Bruno Sanders. Bruno. How long until Germany takes the checks? Well, I, we prevented them from uh, doing the annexation of uh, Austria. So usually they do that before they do the checks. So they might be trying to get the checks now, but it's usually like after 1939, isn't it? Bohemia returns to the crown. Following discussions at the highest level that ran late into the night, the Czechoslovakian government has decided to accept our offer and proclaimed Otto von Habsburg the king of Bohemia and Margrave of Moravia. The soldiers of the former Czech army have sworn an oath to their new king and emperor, and the civil administration of the realms has been fully integrated. Another step on the way to reclaim our birthright. Boom! Uh, oh, holy shit! Look out, world! Jeez! Okay. Now we can go in and claim Transylvania. The area of Siebenbergen was unfairly taken from us after the last war. It's time to reclaim it. The Kingdom of, of Romania gets the event. Hungary demands Transylvania. Nice, nice. Okay, one thing we are going to have to do is... What are these fist guys? Cavalry. Okay, Romania, we're going to need some mountain uh, troops for Romania, right? So let's get some mountain troops. We're going to We're gonna need to get another... Uh, create a new army and assign selected divisions. Oh, it's this one here, right? Create a new army and group and assign selected armies. Okay. We want to get... Uh... Oh, where are the mountain men? Please. These are all the Czech, uh, the Czech ones, right? Well, we don't have that many mountain men, actually. We have a lot of cavalry, it looks like. Oh, you have to select the them and click on the one on the right? And then we can move him into here? Okay. So we want to grab uh, these mountain men as well. Put them in here. Who else do we want to get in here? We don't really want cavalry, right? Let's grab, like, these guys as well and add them into here. 
Romania is not uh, not a huge issue at all, right? Like we don't need that much for them. All right. Okay, this guy we need General Geza Lacados. Sure. Okay. You, my friend, are going to be deployed to Romania, okay? And we're going to give you an offensive line order to go in hard on Bucharest. And, and Galati as well. Nope. the fuck? Alright, whatever. We're just gonna take everything, right? Like this? All the way up to the sea? You can edit the lines? Oh yeah, I suppose you can, right? Okay. That's you. Um, let's get you guys redeployed. And then we're going to need to have some sort of front against uh, Germany as well, right? Which is going to be um, our man here. We just want them to defend. Just in case Germany decide to declare war on us. Germany are going to be pretty mad, yeah. We we kind of screwed them over a little here, I feel like. Okay, these guys all need to be added here. These guys as well. Okay, looking good. We've arranged our forces. We got free military factories. And we have another unassigned division. Okay, let's send this guy here. Send this guy here. So many unassigned divisions. Holy crap. Okay, that's all of them. Right. Claiming Transylvania? Yes. Um, what else do we need to do? We have so much manpower now. We need to use some of these planes up, and we need to, uh, to up our production as well, right? Boom. Bam. 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 Close air support? We'll do some research on close air support as well. Um, how do we, um, Brunel, where are my planes? How do I see, uh, how do I create my uh, air wings from here? We need more divisions. Click an airport. Ah, Northern Hungary. Okay, so close air support one. Oh, we got some of their planes. We got some Czech planes here as well, right? bombers and stuff as well do you do you do like how do you do air wings like do you mix like would you have like close air support just close air support or would you put some fighters in there and stuff as well you don't mix them never mix them okay all right so if i want close air support I, can I just merge these guys? Deselect. No retreat. 
Split Merge Air Wings. Select two or more air wings of the same type from the air, same air base that are not exile wings from the same government in exile, are not volunteering, and are not in transfer. How do I sign these to this, uh, to this guy here? Oh, I can just do like this. So Army 2 has the close air support. Just like that. And then he'll just deploy them when uh, when he's ready to go. Now he'll manage them. Okay, that's good. Is that is that good? I want him to do this. Uh, I didn't really rage at Hitman. I think I just I think I just need a break from it. We've been playing it a lot. And uh, I had some uh, some bad runs last night, and then uh, today we had a, a shitty one in, in uh, Paris as well. It's just a good, t yeah, a bit of burnout, yeah. It's just a good time to take a bit of a break. I had the runs yesterday, <laughs> yeah, the big time runs. All right, so in case Germany try to try to get fresh with us. We're not really ready because they're strong as hell, but um, we have some forces uh, on the line here for uh, Romania because we want Transylvania back, which is what we're working on now. It's going to take a little while to get, though. I tried headshotting myself with the fart gun, yeah. Yeah, I succeeded as well, and I just cannot stop farting now, so... It's pretty pretty brutal stuff. Uh, we want to. We need to train like more divisions, right? We got infantry template one. We got we got the Horska Divis, which is uh, mountaineers. These mountain divisions are um, probably pretty useful going into like the south here, right? There's lots of mountains. Should we get a couple of them? Oh, we can't train them. We don't have the special forces. Not enough special forces cap. I think I need to uh, do some 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 of my own research there. I don't know if we can use the farts against uh, Germany. No. Okay, we got to use up some of this manpower, right? It's just sitting there doing nothing some of this production as well. Holy crap. Look at all the infantry equipment we have right now. Alright, let's get this towed artillery out. Let's get these close air support vehicles out as well. Close air support seems insanely good, right? Like it it turned the war around for us when we were invading Austria. Change the the uh, the check. Oh, the check troops to my design. No changes to save, to save, it says. It doesn't save it. How do you, how do you do that? We can delete these templates. There's 16 divisions using infantry template three here. change the actual troops when you select the general? Oh, right. There's there's a mix of them, though. So it's, it's these guys here, right? How do I do it from here? Oh, you do it from in here? No. The green arrow's top left. 
Oh, I see. Nice. That's good. Okay. So, and then we could just get rid of these uh, templates when they're done, right? Like, we don't want this. We don't want this. Oh shit. I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Okay, and then these guys, we want to change them to the Hussar Dandar. Changing them? No? Oh, I won't change these ones. Weird, eh? Do 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 Aircraft designer? Light aircraft? Um, naval bombers, strategic bombers, fighter and carrier fighter? Heavy fighter, tactical bomber and scout plane? Light aircraft is, uh, is close air support, right? Light aircraft designer is best for me? Okay, let's go that with that then. We need to start we need to start getting some uh, planes some planes made. Okay, construction, we're still making a whole bunch of military factories and then so we got to make more as well. Do we need some civilian factories too? Or should I just go nuts with the old uh, military ones? You're going nuts. How many do we have at the moment? We have 40. That's probably enough, right? I mean, we've taken over two countries, so... Just build military for now? Yeah, okay, I will. And then once we research anti-aircraft, we'll uh, start building some AA guns and stuff too, right? Be handy. Okay. Oh, engineer company, nice. That's good. Engineer company. Um, what was the? What did we say about logistics company? Good. Do we want a logistics company? Get the shovels out. Get the extra research slot. Oh yeah, we need to get that right. Do we want maintenance company? Oh, you know what? We need anti-air, right? We want to get anti-air with our with our guys. Start researching that straight away. I forgot about our need for anti-air. Do 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 do. Man, the music is so good in this game. That country, you'll probably only be able to afford infantry for a while, so a lot of artillery upgrades. Yeah, that's that sounds sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this. We're a big contender. Look at the size of us. Holy shit. I'm ready to fucking go here. We got low supplies over here, so we need some infrastructure upgrades as well, right? Over here. What is and what's this? Just railways? How do I build a, a railway here? Or can you not? Do you, what do I do with this? Railway, any railways? No? I can't seem to build a railway here. Oh, it looks like it tried to do it. Connect from an existing railway? Oh, I see. Will that do it? You'd think that it would be reinforced from this. We've got like a parallel line here. Push it up on the build list. Sure. <coughs> working on it working on it you not really use the new supply system it seems kind of neat uh, yeah. we got some unassigned divisions here Romania refuses to give up Transylvania. It is perhaps most telling that the Romanian ambassador, in a meeting with Otto von Habsburg this morning, felt the need to add, as always, to his flat refusal to even discuss the possibility of transferring the contested territories. Time and again, the Romanian government has publicly refused our claims, even ridiculing them. For years, we were too weak to push back. Not anymore. Okay, um... Kingdom of Romania gets event Hungary mobilizes. Add war preparations, which grants generate war goal tension limit to minus 50%. Justify war goal time, minus 50%. Planning speed. Gain base war support. This one is just gain base stability, gain base war support. Loses claim, loses claim, loses claim. World tension is decreased by one. So we want, we want to take the second one, right? Because we actually want to go to war with them. We're going to take them? War. All right. Okay. Let's let that one brew a bit and get some more um, research slots. Peace and outlook. Peace. All right. The Kingdom of Romania. So we can justify the war goal for... We can just conquer them as well, right? Should we just conquer them outright or take the claim state? What's the difference? Oh, I see. If we conquer them, it's going to... A full conquer... We can't even do, and the it's going to go crazy, right? Tension's going to go up by 13%, but if we take the claim state, it's just 6%. And then we'll get half of Romania here, right? You you want the oil fields? You, we only need to claim one state, and it what, it'll just give me all of them? Take claim state. And then what? Just pick one. Oh, when the war ends, I can just take everything. Okay.
Okay, Romania is rejecting my demands. The ultimatum's deadline is coming on without a Romanian reply. Outraged Hungarian officials have already denounced Romania's government, claiming they are destabilizing the region with their insistence to adhere to unlawful treaties. Both nations seem to be preparing for a war that may well erupt at any day. Holy crap. Okay, hang on a second though. Okay, France is guaranteeing Romania, so we could be at war with France for this, right? France are kind of big, but if we wait for Germany to declare war on France, which they probably will at some point, then that's our chance to, to go in, right? I guess France can't really get to me either, yeah. They'd have to go through... Italy, Switzerland, or Germany, which is unlikely. They could maybe get their navy over here and land troops, but it'll be too late, right? It's bears all over again? No, 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 it's not. It's fine. Choose a mediator. Despite the high tensions, there is still a chance to solve the issue through diplomacy. The other side has approached us through back channels, suggesting they would not necessarily be against a commission of uninvolved nations to decide the issue. Who should we approach to argue our case? <laughs> um, you think Germany? Approach Britain, Chamberlain loves appeasement. We're playing with historic AI behavior, yeah. Okay, let's approach Germany then and see what happens. Sure. Negotiations between the great powers have broken down completely, as the two nations have been unable to find any common ground. Any attempt at a compromise solution has been derailed by mutually unacceptable demands. The delegations have traveled back to their home countries, leaving the matter unresolved. It will be resolved by fire, blood, and steel. Okay, Germany is going to declare war on Romania with me. <laughs> So that means that Germany is going to be at war with France as well, right? Oh man, okay, sure. Okay, G. Kingdom of Romania has joined the Allies. The Kingdom of Romania has called France as our enemy in the German-Romanian War. The United Kingdom, the Dominion of Australia, the Dominion of Canada, British Malaya, the British Raj, South Africa, and New Zealand also join the war along with them. Okay, well, World War II now has officially started. <laughs> um, we, we did it. Yeah, we the World War II has started in uh, 1938 before Germany has even uh, marched into Poland. We were the aggressors. We did it. I don't even think Italy is thrown in with the with the axes yet, right? I don't think that 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 has happened. Yeah, we don't need our troops on the uh, the German front now. Can we can we share a, a front here with these guys? You can't have two front lines. Oh, you can. So hard to use. 24 divisions. Okay, these 24 divisions are just going to be defense. Uh, invite to faction request from the German Reich. 
do we want to actually join the Axis? Because once this war, once this war is done and uh, and our demands have been met, we can just peace out, right, and go off and do other shit. I'm not attacking because I'm trying to think about what to do. We're at war with France in the UK, but is it, the, this war... This is the German-French... It's become the German-French war. But what are the... Um, how does it work in Hearts of Iron 4? It's not like... It's not goal-specific like it is in CK3, right? Like it, like I can't just uh, make, I can't just claim my 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 uh, my war goals, and then peace out, right? Like, th this war only ends when all of these countries capitulate. It just won't end. All right, so we have to join the Axis with Germany. Okay, sure. I guess we're I guess we're fascists now. All right, let's start this invasion. Battle plans with no units assigned. Which one's that? Where's the battle plan with no unit assigned? Oh, radio detection. Start land lease request from the German Reich. The German Reich wants to provide seven Stukas on a monthly basis. Do we want some Stukas? Some Stuka dive bombers? Sure. Okay, the Joymans are down here. I think I think Romania is in a lot of trouble here. I don't think they can really defend. I think we can take them and then redeploy, right? As long as the USSR doesn't s suddenly get involved. We better start researching the Death Star now. Build a supply hub at the front. We're still building uh, military factories, right? What? Build a supply hub like right here? Oh my god, man. This is going great so far. We're going to capture Kluj. Anyone here enjoy capturing uh, Kluj? Okay, field hospital is done. Let's start researching this uh, artillery as well, right? Doctrines available. Oh! Battlefield support? Fighter detection? Air superiority? Or... We want battlefield support, right? Close air support? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang. Okay, let's stop these guys from moving in for a bit now. Let's let the let's let the Romanians throw themselves against the line a little bit. We got a big line. 
There we go. Look at this. Let's get our boys supplied and stuff. So far, we've lost um, we've we've lost way more than them. We just gotta slow it down a little, right? The British have sent a single division. Shit! Look out. That's no good. Oh, I see. So this division, I accidentally added this here, right? You want to delete this order? Uh oh. Oh, the enemy has air superiority? Okay, that that will not do, right? We're going to have to create some fighter wings. gonna assign them to this guy nice okay low manpower missing equipment production for fighters and tactical bombers we'll leave it for now Estimated plan value is minus sixty percent. It's quite a big uh it's it's quite a big plan though, isn't it? Maybe let's just try to concentrate on taking Kluj first. How do you edit this order now? Unassigned divisions edit mode. What the heck? How can... Help me understand this better. Like this? We're losing all of our planning bonus? How do we gain it, though? How do you gain planning bonus? Check the German and French border. They're all right. Germany's huge, man. They, they're, they're fine over there. They don't need any help from me right now. The planning uh, bonus builds up over time, right? So I just have to leave it. That's okay. I can just reinforce my divisions and get some supply in and stuff. This hub is going to take a little while to build. Holy shit, I got to go, chat. Sorry to sorry to uh to do this to you mid uh war, but we can uh, resume later when I come back. Chat is saying that the hub is useless. Oh, really? What do how do you get how do we uh run supply in here then? Cuz look the supply on the front line here is not great. So we don't need this uh, this hub at all? Just get more military factories? Or assign trucks to supply hub in the area? What, like this one here? We can set it to... Oh, we don't have any trucks, right? trucks horses oh it shows you where it's going to supply it oh that's neat okay we need to get to, we need to actually make some trucks right 
Um, can I make trucks um, in production and just stockpile them? Will that work? Trucks used for transporting troop supplies and for division motorization. Yeah. All right, nice. We need to just start making some trucks. We'll have some military factories soon, right? Like right now? Perfect. We're making uh, we're making three a week, three trucks a week. We got to get these uh this production efficiency up, right? What the heck was that? What was that noise? Make sure you also prioritize truck nuts. Truck, truck nuts. Okay. Gotcha. All right, well, look at this is not going up. The plan value is uh, minus, minus 50%. Apparently the enemy is superior. Don't ask me how Romania has gotten this much. St oh, they, there's a couple of French. Look, the French and the Romanian flags are like, mixing together a little bit. They got tanks and shit, too. France has messed it up for us. Okay, we need to go into our template here and add another infantry we also want to add an engineer company and a field hospital modify our government slightly to what though what do we need a military theorist probably not right now right air combat Armor specialist, army regrouping, cavalry expert. We have a bit of cavalry. Go to a war economy? Oh, yeah. Limited exports? Do we want limited export exports? I got sucked back in immediately, yeah. Construction speed, research speed, factory output, and dockyard output? All right. Okay, we got another research slot available as well. Do we want some tanks? Or do we just want to go crazy on uh, support companies as well? We need to upgrade our guns. No national focus set either. This will give us um, research for industry. Civilian domestic arms will give us military factories that we need. And we can go down to the boost Hungarian aviation industry. We don't really want to do any of this stuff yet because we just did the claim Transylvania, right? We're not ready to 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 look elsewhere just for now. War games? Our military is dangerously weak and it is imperative that we boost its size and fighting capability. To do this, we must significantly bolster our industry to keep up with the growing demands and equipment. The five-year GIOR program will increase government spending not only on the military itself, but also on ancillary sectors such as industry, agriculture, infrastructure, and education. Okay. Sure, let's start that. All right, chat. I'm going to uh, play through overviews this. Oh, cool. Look at this. Look at all these cool stats. We'll have to look at this uh, later. Okay, listen. I'm going to exit the game. I'll be back in a couple of hours, okay? We can continue. Ah, that's it's good. I feel like we I feel like we've done okay, considering. We've uh we we formed a, a mini empire and we're we're we started World War Two. 
an, an interesting one. We started World War II before Germany did. It's not going too badly, yeah. Okay, listen. Uh, like I said, I'll be back in a couple hours and we can carry on. It'll be a bit more uh, low-key than uh, this one, if, if that's possible. Same, same deal as with Hitman. I won't have my uh, cam on and stuff. But I will be here and we can carry on and see if we can make some progress. Yeah? So join me for that. If not, um, I'll be back tomorrow. We're doing a mailbag for Triforce in the morning. And I'll be on after that uh, if you're a if you're day, day crew. Uh, but if you're night crew, I'll be back later. Yes? Chat, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for the support as well. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll resume Hitman after, uh, after we've taken a bit of a break from it. I think we played like 200 plus hours of it. I think, I think just having a little, a little breather and maybe playing something else for a bit is, uh, is probably pretty good, right? I, I actually really enjoyed Hearts of Iron. I think it went all right. I think it was okay. I think we can get some achievements and stuff. We can, we can try to get better at it for sure, right? It'll be fun. All right. Listen, uh, thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I appreciate all the support as usual. I'll be back later. I'll see you then. Enjoy yourselves. Um, have, a, have a break and a stretch and something to eat and stuff. And uh, I'll, I'll see you later or tomorrow, yes? Okay. LOL. Lots of love, chat. See you later. Peace. Bye now. Bye.